Good afternoon guys. This is Granny Gamer here and I hope you are doing very good today. Uh, this is just going to be a very short series of videos on how to start in Ark Survivor Evolved as it is actually due to be released on the 2nd of August and is finally coming out of Alpha, which is fab. We should be getting quite a lot more people joining this great game. I love this game. So this is just a very short how-to to try and give new survivors an idea of what to expect. Okay, this is what you're going to get when you first load the game and you join a server. Be it official, unofficial, whatever you do, single player, this is what you're going to get. You get a choice between male and female. That's a female, this is the male. You can either save a preset, load a preset, or you can randomise whichever one you want. I prefer a female. I like to be white because I am a granny and I like blue eyes. My name, yes, I know I am a homo sapien, but I'm also a granny. And a gamer. So, oh, let's try that one again. There you go. So there we go, that's all you do. This is going to be playing on a single player game on the centre map. Now, I love this map. Um, the guy that made this match map is a single person. His name is Evil Frank. You'll find him on Twitter and various other social platforms. On this particular map, it's quite a difficult one, I think, to start on. So I like to start on one of these two islands up here. The top island which is tropical island north it's a little bit harder than tropical island south so i'm going to start with that one in my opinion so let's create a new survivor and literally what we're going to start off by doing is the very 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 basic basic things our first grafting and our first little bit of survival to get dressed and just literally things like that what I like to do as soon as this animation is finished is have a quick scout around to make sure there's nothing that's going to eat my face. When you see a dino running in the distance, be worried because, yes, it's running from something. It's usually like to eat you. Right, as you can see, to pick up stones is easy. You just look down and press the E button. Now, I do have artificially raised rates on this server just because I know it makes my videos a little bit easier. Right then, so I've got some stone. Next thing to do is punch a log. Every time you punch a log, you will lose a molecule of health, so just be aware of that. I don't need that. This is your main menu. This is the one you're going to be looking at a lot whilst playing this game. At the top here you've got your inventory, you've got your engram points, you've got your tribe manager, your tame groups and your explorer notes. Also you have your crafting. This is where you get all your crafting done. Tool tips, folder view, new folder. You can actually put things in new folders. It's just quite clever. Um, sort items by. I normally have other belt alphabetical just because I like that and drop all so you can get rid of all your inventory very quickly if you need to. You do start off with a few things already. Your pickaxe is already learnt, you can make one of them. I need a little bit of flint to make a torch which is actually quite handy. I'm just going to equip that to my quick slot bar. I'm just checking. <laughs> I feel very vulnerable not being on a dinosaur, I must say. Right, okay then, over to a rock to get some flint. Oh, look, there's a lovely T-Rex in the distance. I won't be hanging around here long. Get rid of some of that because I get the feeling I'm going to need to run. Right then, where's he gone? Right, he's there. Let's take him away from our field of view. Hopefully he doesn't get here. Still need to get rid of some stuff. Not that way. Okay, okay. I think we're going to hide behind this rock. Not that it does much good, but it makes me feel a bit better. There you go. Right, once you've got your torch made, that should give you some more points to level up. 
to level up you need to go into this menu here now obviously you have your health and your stamina your oxygen your food your water your weight your melee damage movement speed crafting skill fortitude and torpidity health self-explanatory stamina is how far you can run without taking a rest oxygen how long you can hold your breath underwater food obviously if it's cold you're going to lose food quicker that's one thing to be aware of. If you get snowflaked, you will lose your food quicker. If you're ice blocked, very, very quickly will you lose your food and your health. Water, again, if it's extremely hot, you're gonna lose your water quickly. If it's like this, you'll just lose it normally. Weight, how much you can carry. Melee damage, how hard you can hit. Movement speed, how fast you can run. Crafting skill is something new that they've added. If you have a blueprint, and this is blueprint, not what you learn with your engrams, if you have a blueprint and you increase your crafting skill, you have a chance of crafting slightly higher than what is on the blueprint. So if it says 12 damage, you may have a slight chance to, when you craft it, to be 15 damage, of that sort. It's quite slight. Um, your fortitude. I always pump some in fortitude because that helps us regulate our heat. So it stops us being too cold or too hot so much. And you torpidly, if you get hit in the head with a trank dart, you're gonna go out. Just be warned. Your, torp your fortitude does help with that though. Right, back to it. I'm gonna put my torch um, probably in six for now. I'm going to have some stamina because I've got that lovely T-Rex, some movement speed because again T-Rex and that would do me for now. Right then, what to do, what to do now is, just having a quick look, see where he's gone, not that I'm nervous at all. I'm going to get that, I'm going to see what we can learn on the engrams. Right, what you need to do first is campfire because you're going to need to be warm you're going to need to be able to hit trees and you're going to need to be able to defend yourself clothes very very important because obviously you don't want to get cold and the other thing i'm going to say learn at the beginning if you can as soon as you can your sleeping bag because you can pop one make one pop it down and if you die you can respawn straight to the bag right okay that's oh lord he's over there just going to run down the beach just for a second, maybe go in the water to stay away from the compi. Don't mind me guys, just running for my life. I must say this map is gorgeous, Evil Frank, the guy that made this map did an absolutely fantastic job. Right, looks to be a little bit safer here for the minute, so I think we'll carry on. Right, so crafting. Everything will have its own little folder. If you want to see everything all at once, you have to click the folder view and everything will pop up. So what can I make? I can make a hatchet. Thank you. I can make a campfire. Very, very important. I need fibre to be able to make clothes. So that will be my next thing. And I'm also going to need some fibre to make my spears. So we're going to have to creep to where there's a bush that's not got a dangerous dino trying to eat my face. Be warned, you will die. You will die a lot. And if you think you're dying too much, fret not, you'll probably die some more. That is one thing that this game does teach you. Life is very short on it. Right, so I can make a hatch. To craft, you just put your cursor over and press E. Pretty, pretty easy. To, and I'm just equipping it by double clicking the left mouse button. Again, pretty easy. Just gonna make some spears now to pop in my hotbar. What can I get rid of? Cause I'm rather fat. Right then, can I move? Yes. So basically, that is it. Again, you will die 
loads and you will have to go through this process again and again and again if you don't have a sleeping bag down if you have a sleeping bag down then you know you can respawn at the bag and at least try and get some of your stuff back what i tend to do as soon as i can make a sleeping bag i do so as soon as i pop it down i put a box of storage down and i go from there which i will show you probably in the next episode but for right now I can see lots of things around me that's going to try and eat me. So as it's relatively quiet at the moment, I will say thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Please, please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up for me. It would be really nice of you and I'd appreciate it very much. I hope you have an absolute fabulous day and I will see you next time.